hello hello and welcome to the channel today we are down here with the lovely people from Nordstar UK to have a look at this Nordstar 33 plus now this has got some clever clever designs up its sleeve and it's a beautifully practical boat so if you're stepping down don't want something that looks overly sort of gin palacey or you are moving down or up from a yacht this is probably a great example for you so we'll start on the bathing platform as you can see and you'll notice there's an access hatch down here this I love having had a prop or a rope around my prop on my own boat the ability to lift that up and then gain access to the outdrive legs is just incredible such a simple idea not seen that before also very very practical lots and lots of fender storage across the back here nice sea gate and also look at this for practicality when you're mooring nice big rubberized d-ring chunky stainless rails the whole way through in fact we'll go forwards first they run all the way forwards and these are non-asymmetric side decks so whichever side you go you've got exactly the same side decks so actually you go up this way also doors on both sides a door on the port side there's a door on the starboard side as well and then there's a little drop out section here and a cleat so as you'll see when we go on the other side if you're single-handed mooring you've got the ability to jump ashore nice to see a second cleat as well all your anchor handling gear is up here lovely anchor locker down there which is lined with a bit of rubber to stop damaging the gel coat quick spin round and you'll notice that there is a little perch seat forwards access to the fore cabin full-size life raft and this beautiful forward or reverse rate windscreen with a fantastic light bar on the top there again grab handles the whole way through both inboard and outboard and at a really good height this is probably for me about hip height little pin lights down there there's a cabin light here as well if I stand up here for a sec, you'll see there's a massive sunroof there and a radar bar as well. But look at those windscreens, very, very purposeful. And again, each screen's got its own wiper, independently switched. Back down the side here. Again, similar side cleat and um, gate through the rail and a door into the helm station. And a fairly open aft deck you've got seating at the back here with a big storage bin underneath there As you can see plenty of room for lines and cleats and bits and pieces i haven't looked under here was there anything under there no that's just general storage i think no nope, i don't know so externally access into the cabin via these two doors you can see this one's open that one's shut a nice big if I take a couple of steps back actually you can see there's a really decent overhang over the back of this aft cockpit area engines under the floor we'll have a look at those on the way out so this is the interior space storage on the uh, port side and dining on the starboard side nice high-low table so you can drop that down if you need to plenty plenty of headroom if I spin the camera around look at that tons of headroom you'll also notice it's quite light and bright in here there's big windows running right the way around obviously those forward reverse shear windscreen windows around both sides and then this rather massive electric glass sliding sunroof comes with two sets of blinds this side if you want is a fly screen and on the opposing side here we have the blackout blind if you're choosing to sleep up here at night if I just spin it around you can see so there's a couple of options here so this customer or this owner has chosen to have that area here as storage so storage in there rather than fridges and, and dining equipment as you can see over on the other side there you've then got that dining area side there's a helm seat which can also be or helm seat passenger seat really which can then be flipped both ways so at the moment it's in 
motoring mode, if you like, so the person or the people sitting there can see forwards as you're going along. But if you want to, like a lot of these seats, you can, oh, bear with me, flip it over, he says. Oh, this is quite a new boat, so it's a bit stiff still. But there you go, excuse the wobbly camera. Flip it over, and you've got dining space. So you, everybody can sit around that dining table. Over on the helm station, again, another option is this hydraulic helm seat. Again, with storage underneath, and you can see there's access to the side door. So if you are single-handed helming, you've got the throttle controllers here, you have the joystick, midships cleat, and you can be straight out onto the pontoon, tie yourself off nice and quickly. Lovely Nord Star steering wheel, and all the usual bits and pieces, so carling switches, engine instrumentation, Garmin, um, I don't know what that is. Let's have a quick peek. Oh, there you go. Autopilot. And then a large Garmin GPS screen up there. And it's quite nice. This is all painted in a sort of matte, gentle finish to it. Chart storage up top. VHF radio up there as well. Fusion stereo over the side there. A little bit of extra storage under there and there is warm air heating as well feeding those brilliantly purposeful windscreens to keep the mist off so if we head down below through this open companionway there is no fixed door here we drop down into what on this vessel with this owner is effectively the galley so galley down on this one now you can knock that around and have that as we looked at earlier up here where the storage is as galley up version but this is quite neat because it does give you a bit more storage up top and then you have your galley down here fairly conventional so there's a combi microwave oven down here ceramic hob little stainless sink there with its own mixer tap and then nice isotherm fridge down there and there's a little bit of storage as you would expect in these cupboards again good standing headroom down here little porthole there to let the ventilation let the steam and cooking smells out bit of extra storage down here for rubbish under the step. Now equally, if you had the galley up, you could convert this into a wet room or a shower room because uh, opposite us on the other side is the current heads on this boat. So this is effectively the heads, so wash basin storage, loo underneath there and a full wet room floor because behind there is the shower. If I pop in here, you'll see. So there you go, there's the shower. And these hatches, in case you're wondering, this is access to the back of the helm station, so you can get to all of the electrical wiring and bits and pieces. These are watertight doors, so they're not going to allow the shower water to get into any of the electrics. Opening port as well. So that's the bathroom on this vessel, but as you can imagine, that could effectively be the loo and the, and the basin. Take the shower out, and then you can pop the shower over on this side if you so desire, or as this guy's done, or this customer's done, you can leave it as a galley. So back into the companionway, a couple of steps forward and what looks to be one step down, takes us into the forward cabin, decent size V-berth. Again, once you step in, plenty of headroom, plenty of light through the portholes and the four hatch there, nicely finished, storage under the bed, lovely dark woodwork contrasting with the uh, GRP, which is very nice, but decent sized berth. Decent sized berth. There is a little bit of extra storage behind us here in this wardrobe. Like so, and again, it's quite deep, and how well you can see that in the dark. But a very purposeful boat. Very purposeful boat. So that's the forward cabin. Now, I mentioned right at the start of this video that there's a little surprise on this boat. Anyone who's familiar with Nordstar will probably already know what it is. But underneath this seat here is another cabin. So if we lift that seat up like so, there's a door in here. Slide that door across. That catches in there. And then down here, we have our cabin. Couple three steps in, takes you into this quite impressive twin single bedded cabin. Now there's storage over there in the wardrobe. There's other storage hatches in there and there's another one behind me. If I just drop in here, 
Now there is an infill, so you can infill that section if you want to make it a big double berth, but this is a big, this is a big cabin and a big bed. The girl I was chatting to a moment ago was telling me that a lot of owners actually leave this made up as their master berth and then leave the forward bed as the guest or you know just the occasional berth. But you'll notice there is hull windows, superstructure windows, you can see there's extra storage in over there. There's probably yeah storage under the beds as well, look. Decent hanging storage in that ward over there. Nicely fitted out, and as I mentioned on the way in, down here we have the distribution panel, so we have electrics. So yeah, really neat second cabin. Now it could be your first cabin, it could be your second cabin. It's your boat, you can choose, but it's just really neat and out the way. And actually, do you know what? It's, <laughs> it's somewhat bigger than some of the cabins you'd expect to find on a 30 odd three foot boat. Just put that down. And before we finish, let's just go and have a quick peek at the engines. It's a little switch over here. Lifts the engine hatch up. So here you go. Engine installations. Now on, on the Nordstar, you can pretty much choose what you like. In this installation, we've got a couple of Volvo Penta D4 320s neatly packaged in there. You can see all the electrical distribution down there. But I would guess that under that box there is battery boxes and then you've got things like fuel separators down here. Hydraulics down there um, and the hot water down there. Well, it looks like there's actually a generator tucked in under here as well. So you can have, um, I mean, let's start with these engines. These engines are going to give you early 40s, so probably 40, 41 knots flat out and a really comfortable cruise in the early 20s. But you can have a single installation if you want. So you can have a slightly larger single Volvo Penta engine or you can have the slightly smaller D4s. It would ultimately be your choice as the owner. And you can see also stored under here quite cleverly is the aft cockpit table. So there you go. That is the Nordstar 33 Plus. So thank you very much for the guys and girls at Nordstar UK for letting us have a look around this. Do please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time round.